Greetings, I'm Ben, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get Cronbach's alpha to assess the um, reliability, the internal reliability of a scale that uses multiple items to uh, measure a single variable. And I'm going to show you how to do that using R. So we're going to use the American National Election Studies pilot data from 2020, and we're going to be looking at the racial resentment scale. Um, so they have four items in that scale to assess people's level of racial resentment, and we're going to see if those four items have internal reliability. Now, to do that, we're going to use a package called Psi. So you want to go install packages Psi. And uh, then you'll need to load the Psi package after it installs. Now that we have Psi loaded and installed, we can get the uh, internal reliability using the Cronbach function that's part of Psi. And the command for that is just Cronbach, and then it, you put parentheses, and then you type the name of your data set. So my data set is named ANESP, but your data set will almost certainly be named something else. And then you do brackets, comma, and here you need the column numbers for the variables that you want to test. So if we go back up and look at the racial resentment scale, they should be column numbers 194 to 197. That should be what these numbers next to them correspond to. But if you don't know what column numbers they are, or you can't easily visually identify that, you can look up the column number for a variable with the command which call names, and then your data set, A-N-E-S-P is the name of my data set, equal sign, equal sign, and then in parentheses, the variable you want the column name for. So if we run that, we see that yes, it does in fact tell us that 194 is the column number for the first racial resentment scale item. RR2 is in fact 195. 196 is the third racial resentment item, and RR4 is in fact 197. So this tells us what those all are, um, and we can then just put here RR1 colon RR, oops, I'm sorry, we cannot do that. We have to put the column numbers, that's why we looked them up, 194 colon um, 197. And so this says, I want you to take column 194 through 197 and calculate the internal reliability for that. Um, and so we run that and it gives us the output. It tells us the sample size is 3,073 people, that there are four items, and that's always good to check, right? Like there should, I know this number should be four. If it's not four, it indicates that I maybe put the wrong numbers here. And then it gives me Cronbach's alpha for those items, um, which you know in this case is 0.786, basically. Now, um, you could run into a problem if your items are not consecutive, and so you can't use this colon to indicate from this number to this number. If that's the case, then what you need to do is list the column numbers for all the items you want to use. And in R, you list with list with the C parentheses function. And so, um, yeah, and then you just do commas to separate it. So I would go 194, 195, 196, and 197. And obviously these are all consecutive, and so this is uh, extraneous. But you can imagine if they weren't consecutive, this is how you would tell it, I don't want you to go 194 through 197. I want you to check this column this column, this column, and this column. And you just do that with C parentheses. And we should get the same result here if we run that. And we do four items, 0.785. And you can see we can also throw in, so let's, let's just throw in a random item, 200. And oops, that must not be a numeric variable. Let's go 100. And there we go. And so we just threw in a random item. It says, oh, now you're testing five and the reliability went way down because this is just a random item in the scale. Anyway, that is uh, quick and easy how you get Cronbach's alpha using the Psi package in R. Hope you found that helpful. 
uh, and enjoy the video.